Hello, welcome to Marketing Foundation Perceptual Mapping Positioning Fab 32. Miss Kit was recently promoted to Marketing Manager in a big company. Soon after the excitement of taking over the job, she was challenged to promote a new product. One night, while sitting in front of a computer, preparing a plan where to start for her new product campaign, she started to ask herself how to get the customers to pick me. Then, several more questions came up. Who are my customers? What is the size of needs my beer product fulfills? Why is my product the best option to satisfy those needs? While struggling to come up with some ideas, she poured herself a glass of beer. Right after her first sip, she started to think maybe positioning will help answer all those questions. She started to recall what her marketing professor taught in class about positioning and recall that there's a tool called perception mapping, which can help provide insights on positioning. Oftentimes, firms use perceptual mapping to see how their products are perceived by customers and position their products to fill gaps in the market and gain insights about how to compete against their competitors. Perceptual mapping can be made based on preference and perception. And there are two basic approaches to map a brand, the overall similarity and attribute rating method. Attribute rating method is applied when brand can be broken down into distinct attributes using factor analysis. On the other hand, the overall similarity method allows consumers to rate overall similarity using multidimensional scaling between brands when they cannot be broken down into distinct attributes. Ms. Cage then thought about how to interpret perceptual mapping. First, the closer the brands are positioned in this space, the more competitive they are to each other. Second, it identifies open spaces or unmet customer needs and salient attributes of products. On which consumers differentiate and brands. Interpretations, ideas in mind. Here is an example of the overall similarity method. We can try to answer the two questions. First, which brands are the closest competitor for Heineken? The answer is Bex. And second, do you see any cluster of brands considered very similar to each other? And the answers are inside the circles. And for the attribute rating method, let's take a look at this octopus uh, looking map, and which can be interpreted as follows. Arrows indicate the direction in which the attribute is increasing. And the length of the line, the longer this line, the greater is the importance of that attribute. And you can draw imaginary perpendicular line to compare. So let's look at the two questions. Which beer is most popular with women? And the answer is Meklo. Second, in what ways does Budweiser different from Miller's and Coors? And the answer is more popular with men, heavier, less preferred for special occasion. So, perceptual mapping will help Miss Kate find her company's competitors, what her customer needs are and what kind of offering she can make with her new beer product to meet those needs and find a business gap possibly uh, in that beer market. So she needs to prepare a marketing research, carry out surveys to draw her map. Now, Miss Kate is ready to say cheers and can't wait to share this idea with her colleagues the next day. 
It's going to be a great start, and I love my job," says Miss Kate. Thank you so much, and cheers.